Quick Ads AI tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you Quick Ads and how you can use this absolutely incredible AI ad generator, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up to quickads.ai, okay, that's the URL for the website. So we're gonna head straight into it. Now over here, it says effortless ads and post in 30 seconds. You know, it's pretty straightforward that you can create ads for yourself in the easiest and most simplest ways. Now there are a few pricing and plans that you are going to need to go through. So you can see that you get the starter plan for $9, the small business plan for $29 and agency for $99 and the features are so that you can check out on their pricing page. But I'm basically going to get straight into it you know, without further ado. So I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log in real quick. But if you don't have an account, you can either click on generate ads for free or click on get started. And that's going to take you into things. So let me tell you how you're going to move on from here. So the first thing you're going to see is your dashboard. Okay, it's going to say welcome to quick ads, start creating with your ads. Okay, then you have a few things on the left hand side like brands. Okay, so we're going to shift over to brands. Obviously, you, you're going to have brands over here. Then you have the settings section where you can actually change languages if you want to. And that's pretty much all you can do in settings. Then you have your profile where you can manage the subscriptions you have, what kind of plans you have. You can add multiple users in the same plan as well, which is pretty nice. So to start things off, first of all, we're going to go ahead and create a brand because without a brand, you cannot create an ad. So I'm going to go ahead and create a brand for myself, you know. So let's click on new brand and here it says copy paste your brand's website address or just, you know, add your very own brand name. So right now I'm just going to go ahead uh, and, uh, you know, lead a brand off. Let's say I'm going to go with Nike best shoes in town. You know what? I'm just going to change the name of it. Yeah. Okay. Let's go with that. And now it says that you need to upload a logo. Okay. So these things are pretty compulsory. So make sure to go ahead and add these. So I'm going to add these logos. And uh, once it's done, what uh, you're going to do from here is you're going to click on create brand. Now, while we're doing this, you, you're going to notice that the website's interface and user interface, like the ease of use is pretty good. It's pretty well built and I like it a lot. So once your brand is now created, you can actually go ahead and create ads for this brand. So now we're going to come to dashboard and we're going to click on new ad. Now, once you click new ad, it says you're going to need to describe your ad. So write a crisp description about your ad in 50 to 200 words. So I'm going to go ahead and describe my ad real quick and we're going to get straight into the editing. So as you can see, I've explained my ad. So it says my ad is about a premium shoe that go that got our right now in the market. Air Jordans with denim wipe. And, you know, I just went through the whole ad. Now, once you write this, you're going to click on next. So it says choose your template. Now, as you can see, it gives you a lot of ideas for custom templates that you can uh, go with. So, you know, you can scour through these as much as you want. So let's say I like this template a lot. You know, let's go with this. So I'm going to click on it. Now, once we do that, click on next and you're going to choose your logo. You're going to choose your color palettes, you know, whatever color palettes you want to go with. Now, obviously, Nike's color palettes are um, yellow. OK, so you can actually change the branding by clicking over here. OK, now, if you want to stay with this, you can go with it. But if you want to change color palettes, you're actually going to need to change the color of your actual logo that you uploaded. But once you've done that, you're going to click on submit. And once we click on submit, it's going to load in your ad. Now, the reason you remember why I had you add brands in the first place. Now, the reason for that was exactly what you just saw. So here you are in the editor. So you can see that uh, this person, they created an image with AI. And uh, you can see uh, now if the color grading is weird if the color grading is strange you can actually edit it and let me show you how now to change the color grading what you are going to be doing is first of all you're going to click on the design that you want to change the color grading on so let's say i'm over here and uh, first of all you have the fonts then you have ai generated headings so step up your style with air jordans step up your style game step into style with air jordan denim vibe so i'm going to stay with this one and you have subheadings right down here and then you can actually change the text style. Okay. 
Now, obviously, the dark theme is just not working. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, add a little, you know, flare to it. So I'm going to go white with this and go a bit off white with that. And uh, obviously, then if you have any third heading, you can give it a white color if you want to add a third heading. Now, if you want to edit the current headings you have, let's say, you know, I can bring it to the left hand side to the right hand side. Now, once you do this, you can also decrease its height if you want to. So look at that. You can select the text size if you want italics or underline it. Pretty simple. Then you can edit the subheadings as well. So let's say I'm going to do this. Okay. And if the size is too big and it's popping out, you can just decrease the size. Okay. And there you go. So, you know, it looks much better. looks much nicer. Just uh, make sure to edit around with it. Make uh, sure that all the styles that you add look nice. Now, once you have done that, you can actually add your own personalizations. If you want to add a custom logo, you can do that as well. And let's say my logo or my colors over here are pretty dull or dark, right? So I can shift the logo up here. You can also show or hide the logo if you want to. Then there's the image that you can edit. You know, zoom it in more if you want to. Zoom it out some if you want to. That depends on you. Moving on, you have background colors where you can actually change color palettes as well. So as you can clearly see, these color palettes are available and it gives you custom color palettes to work with as well from here. Now, I like this one, so I'm going to stay with this. And once you have, you know, a good idea of your ad, you can download it simply. Now, you can also get new inspirations for ads from here, okay, new templates, and you can add your very own image as well. Like you can see AI suggested images and give you a lot of things to work with. So there's also this, there's these. Now, I also think that this will look pretty cool on this. So if I were to add this, look at that. Now, if the exposure was just right, that will look amazing with this. So, you know, just add photos like these, then you can also add your very own assets. And uh, you can change the ad size as well with the different pixelations and the different resolutions. And once you've done that, you're, you can save the ad or you can download the ad. That depends on you. I'm going to go ahead and download it real quick. And uh, once we do that, it's downloaded over here. Now, if we open it up, look at that. You know, pretty incredible. Now, if you don't want to kill the pixel zooming in, you're obviously going to make sure to go ahead and get a better, uh, you could say, pixelation design to work with. But if you want to go ahead with your current old design, you know, you can stay with that. Go ahead, download the ad again, and uh, also don't compress the image in my opinion because it's not too big of an image. So as you can see now, if you zoom in, the pixels aren't as bad as they were previously. So yeah, that's basically Quick Ads AI. And uh, if we come back to its dashboard, you're going to see, there you go. You're going to start seeing the ads that you're going to get over here, and you're going to start seeing the brands that you have over here as well. And uh, you also get credits that you can use. So you have 10 free credits right now on the starter plan. And these credits are recharged every now and then. So make sure to keep eye for this as well. But yeah, that's pretty much the idea of how you're going to use quick ads. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, drop down a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye.